In the previous clips, we have explored how unconditioned room air inhibits mucus transport. In this video, we will focus on the motile cilia, the tentacle-like structures lining the airways that were shown in slow motion during the introduction. Recall that it is their activity that leads to mucus transport. Normally, cilia beat in unison to move debris in the mucus. But like mucus transport itself, this video shows their activity is affected by temperature and humidity too. The cilia motion has been calculated using Fourier time series analysis of this region of the video. The cilia beat frequency was estimated from the power spectrum density calculated over one second intervals and is shown on the indicator. High frequencies show the cilia are working effectively to clear foreign material from the trachea. Low frequencies indicate the cilia are barely moving. As before, temperature, humidity, and airflow are displayed. Initially operating at about 12 beats per second, cilia activity quickly drops when temperature and humidity are reduced. Activity is restored when we return to physiologically normal conditions. This waterfall plot shows the power spectrum density calculated from the video. Our estimate of the cilia beat frequency is marked in black. Frequency is plotted vertically with high activity in red and low activity in blue. The solid blue region around 10 seconds corresponds to the drop in temperature and humidity during the recording. We'll overlay this shortly. Low frequency activity around 5 seconds is caused by debris moving through the region studied in the video clip. Adding the mucus velocity to the plot illustrates the strong link between transport velocity and cilia activity.